so I'm thinking today we're gonna plant flowers, more flowers. Sometimes it's really hard for me to do that as my one thing because it seems frivolous and like it's not achieving anything. It's not practical. Flowers are not practical, you know? I think that's something with our society. Like if you're not making money, if you're not doing something like that, like practical, then you're like wasting time. And I just don't think that's true. I mean, God was an artist. If he wanted everything to be super practical and not artistic and beautiful, then we would have a really horrible dystopian looking. Like, if you watch any of those like futuristic sci-fi ones where there's like no grass, that is what the world would be like. And thank goodness it's not that way, right? So we are going to plant flowers because I want to. Also having the bees has kind of given me a loophole because I'm like, well, this is very practical. It's for the bees, which technically it's practical anyway for all the other bees, even if they're not giving you something in return, which they are by pollinating your vegetables and your fruits. But even if they weren't doing that, um, shouldn't we be helping out nature? So I have this bucket of zinnia seed. Yes, a five gallon bucket of zinnia seed. Well, I've given some away, but like, I mean, how, ma how many zinnias can you really plant? I do have more sunflower seeds because I bought like a whole bag full. It was like supposed to be used for bird seed. That's the cheapest way to get it. I think if you're not looking for a specific type of sunflower, just go buy a very large bag of bird seed. That's what those sunflowers over there are from. Remember when we moved all the oregano? And then now that we've changed everything, it's been mowed down. It's still alive. You can't kill that stuff. First of all, I'm having really bad deja vu right now. Have we done all of this before? Like I could have sworn we've had these exact conversations before. <laughs> Do you ever have that happen to you? This is oregano. I was just like, oh my gosh, see how it got mowed down? But look, it's just coming back. It's like, no, you can't kill me. You can try. I am probably gonna go around and we can dig up some of it and then move it. And because bees and butterflies and all that, they love oregano. This is the main little patch of oregano right here. And I gotta tell you, when the sun comes out, it is bustling. In a butterfly. We might even plant some of that in like the permanent flower garden because I noticed there weren't very many flowers. And I think I kind of caught it in between a really weird time where, cause now there's starting to be more flowers but there shouldn't be a time when there's not flowers. So that's the plan, what do you think? Part of the reason why I'm doing this is that my friend who does bees has been talking about the Darth. You know, Darth is like a lack of something, not like Darth, like Darth Vader, like Darth, like D-E-A-R-T-H. It's when there's a lack of something and they're talking about a lack of flowers um, for bees sometime in the summer it's like between this is what I read online between like spring and fall and I'm like but there's tons of flowers in the summer which I mean there are I always grow lots of flowers in the summer so I don't know but I'm like well I'll grow more I can fix that I'll just grow more I'm not ridiculous enough to think that my plantings are gonna make that much of a difference because bees get a, most of their food from trees which in the spring as you know which maybe you don't know I didn't know until I started paying attention to things I didn't know trees flower even ones that like maple trees you know like when you get the little spinny helicopter things those are seeds the only way they came is because there was a flower and it doesn't look like a flower but when the trees bud out and they have all those red things on it that's a flower and the bees are all over it and they love it and right now we have all the mimosas going and the trees are buzzing like if you walk under a mimosa tree right now it's just like like the whole tree that's where they get the majority of their stuff from so i understand that there's not that in the summer like i don't know what flowering trees we have in the summer blah 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 so so i'm gonna plant more flowers moral of the story i'm gonna plant more plant more flowers plus remember your vegetables make flowers look my heirloom beans are coming up look at how good they did they like all germinated i'm so happy about this Woo! i still have the heirloom corn that i kind of wanted to do over here and i wonder if it's too late now july august september even into October, I think as long as it's like a 90 day one, we'll be fine. And even if it's a 120 day one, I think we'd still be fine because we have a pretty long growing season here. We have a lot of stuff to do today, but I'm feeling it. You know why I'm feeling it? Cause it's not hot yet. It looks like it's gonna rain. It feels really good. How interesting. This is the morning glory. Something ate all the, the tips off. What? Okay, after way too much deliberation, I think we should just put them here next to this row of beans. Fine place to put them, it's fine. What in the, are you for real right now? How did I? 
This is one of the poles that I use to make a straight line with the string. The other one's way over there. And look, I put it, it's around there and then under this mat that I stapled down. All right, we're gonna put water in first and then sprinkle the seeds so they stick. And then because I water the garden, it'll rain. Okay, we're gonna seed this super heavily just because we can. Ta-da! Then your seeds planted. I feel like I spend way too much time <laughs> just standing, like staring and thinking in this garden. And the reason why, there is a reason, is because I don't have it all figured out yet. I don't have it all figured out. When you find out something that does work, it's amazing. We have these trellises with the tomatoes. It took us years to figure out that this is the way that works for us. Now it's like, that's what we do every year. And it's amazing. And I interplant them with zinnia and then basil. Figured out that that works. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. So now we have that. That's that's a system. And the, the corn with the sunflowers, I like that. I think that's a good, a good thing to put over there. I like where it is. I like how it looks. I think it's working good. But there's a lot of things that I have not figured out yet. So like where to put oregano. So you already saw just this year, I already moved them to a spot that then was not good. So I put them around the perimeter and now we are like, no, that's not a good place for them. So now I'm like, well, now where do I put it? And I don't no. And that's one of the reasons why there's still a lot of real estate in this garden that's not being used. I'm trying to think long term because I'm, I'm tired of putting things in and then being like, no, that didn't work and ripping them out. Work smarter, not harder, right? Okay, so give me advice. Where should I put the oregano? <laughs> Where? Can we take a second just to be like so thankful and overjoyed that this is a decision we even get to make? Where should I put my oregano in my big fancy garden? Hmm. I'm looking right now, I almost want to cry at how good that part of the garden over there looks. It looks amazing. It looks like a gardener grew this garden. That's what it looks like. It looks like someone who really knew what they were doing put that stuff there, and it makes me so happy. All right, we've brought out the seeds. This is the corn I want to plant. I got seeds for this glem, glem jass, no, glass gem corn from my friend Meg who, by the way, has like a book and she's an awesome gardener. Meg from Seed to Fork. She sent me seeds for this and I grew it. <laughs> I think these are the only two that like actually did well. I don't know what I did wrong, but I was like, well, I'm saving these. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I really like pretty things. So I'm growing them again. So we're gonna use this seed and grow some more. This is what you wanna see. You wanna see that something broke open, spilled a bunch of seeds and you don't know what they are, or where they came from. I have no idea what those are. Good luck to you. Okay, I was all set and ready to do the corn, but then as soon as I realized I was gonna do the corn, I realized that I wanted to keep this bed, but in order to do that, I wanna lay down some mat, but then I need to know this. It's one of those things where it's like, you go to wash the dishes, but then you see a toy and then you pick it up and you go in the other room and then you find laundry and then you go, and it's just like, you're always finding more stuff. But I was thinking well, about the whole putting stuff wherever you want it. Like you don't know until you try. You have to do it. You can have the most perfect plan on paper of where you're gonna stick everything. And then when you actually plant it out and see it in real life and start using what you set out, you'll be like, oh man, I should change this. This would be more efficient. Like putting a compost pile down hill because it'll be good for exercise. And then you realize I don't want exercise. I mean, that's like buying a dress for a wedding that you're gonna go to in a few months and you buy it like, uh, two sizes too small because you're gonna lose the weight before you get to the wedding. Don't do it. Don't do it. Work with what you got. Put the compost pile up next to your garden. That's that's my advice for me. We have this plastic left over from work. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just put it over all these weeds and kill them because I don't want to try to pull out this grass. Walkway done. I'm gonna put some a walkway here. All right, landscaping fabric down. Time to do the corn and some sunflowers. You, what, are you trying to get the corn? Don't you eat my corn. My bag of sunflower seeds. So I put sunflowers here, put another walkway, and then up to that, I'm gonna put um, corn. Put that down. Hey, hey, pe Pepper. Pepper, put that down. Stop it. 
funny because those are pepper seeds. Stop it. Hey, hey. Selfie stick to the rescue. It's not too hard to break off the kernels, so that's good. All right. Good luck. Woohoo, we're done. Pepper. Ah, get out here, Pepper. Need to water everything and get rid of the chicken. All right, we did it. Excellent work. The garden is looking really good. I'm glad we got in like a solid amount of work done today. Thank you so much for coming over and I will see you again later.